Zeros is a new beat em up that came out on Steam today. But I'm really low on cash, so I can't do it right now. <laughs> I will have to wait until the 28th when my money comes in. It looks pretty cool. I don't really know much about it. I just I saw it was a new beat em up and I was instantly interested. Apparently it was free on Xbox One last month. I've been watching people stare at the loading screen on uh Street Fighter Five. They did all those beta tests and it's like, not any better. Pretty bad look on their part. I thought that was what the beta tests were for. I understand problems arise, but, you know, unexpectedly, but still. Shouldn't be that bad after all that testing they did. I think they rushed it out for the Capcom Pro Tour, which I think was a mistake because the game's got barely any content. Like the story mode for each character is like barely five minutes long. Like you can go through the entire story mode in like an hour from what I've seen. I watched someone a couple days ago that was streaming the story mode and it was like five minutes per character. Like I've never seen like such a big game ship with like barely anything like that. That's something you expect from something like a free to play MMO like you know DFO or something like that. Like, you expect it with something like that, but if you're paying, like, 60 bucks for something, you expect, like, $60 of content, and it doesn't have that. Even if you play online a lot, that's a pretty high asking price. Especially for someone like me, like... If I drop 60 bucks on something, like, I want it to have content. I want it to have content that represents that price. Hey, cool, double jump. It's got barely anything. It's pretty much, uh, a really stripped down survival mode. There's, like, uh, I don't think there's arcade mode. The story looks like it was put together in, like, a week. <laughs> I saw the story mode, like, the art looks terrible. It looks like they had an artist and they told him, like, Hey, we're shipping the game in, like, a week. Can you just, like, throw together a couple dozen portraits? <laughs> looks awful compared to, like, what they've done, like, 20 years ago with like Alpha 3 and stuff. Those games had awesome ending art and stuff and the quality looks awful. Yeah, they made Sean White too, which doesn't make any sense. He was very clearly dark skinned.
You know it's you know it's a sad situation when Guilty Gear, which has always been a niche fighting game, it's never been you know super popular. Like Guilty Gear XR shipped with like a full visual novel story mode with like really high production values. Capcom obviously had way more resources <laughs> at story mode. Like, I've seen better story modes in, like, indie games made by, like, two people <laughs> who made the game with, like, pretty much nothing. It really, it's really important for them to have stuff like that, too, because, you know, that's the whole thing. They're trying to, like, bring in new people when your game has, like, an hour of offline content. That's not good for player retention. <laughs> that telefrag. I don't think they buffed it. I didn't see anything in the patch notes. Next patch is going to be on Wednesday. They said that the cinematic story mode for Street Fighter V is coming out in June. Like, that's something you should have in there, like, day one. Like, that's why Mortal Kombat does so well with casual gamers. Like, they actually have good offline content, so people who aren't hardcore, like the people that are actually in the community, actually have a reason to buy the game. But when your content's, like, really poorly drawn stills, still images that you can go through in like an hour. Like, that's not gonna keep people around. I guess it gives people more of an incentive to go online because there's nothing else to do in the game, but still. They've been getting destroyed by like every other competing fighting game in terms of offline content for like years now. It doesn't look like Street Fighter V is any better in that regard. Yo, this slot machine. Trolling me.
What do you mean too new? I don't I don't know what that means in the context of the game. Does that mean you like can't buy it or something? So I should go for like the Tonfas instead, is that what you're saying? I don't really know the mechanics of the game, so you're going to have to elaborate a little more. I don't really have much to do until Common Rider comes out, so maybe I'll play it tomorrow. It's too late to start it tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Probably finish up my DFO stuff and then go on. Grants immunity to knockback. I haven't seen this one yet. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Alright, you better give me something. Come on. Well, at least it gave me some money. <laughs> better than nothing. Yeah, the melee combat doesn't look that great in Warframe. It looks like what would keep me interested is the, the movement. Like, the movement looks really cool. I think that's what I would really like about it. The combat really doesn't look like anything special. I think it's pretty cool to see, like, a big game like that actually having a large emphasis on controlling your character and not streamlining everything, because that's mostly what big games like that do. streamline the movement that's not really interesting for the long term. The movement in that game looks awesome. And uh, I think most of the footage I've seen is probably people like decked out in gear and stuff. I don't really know.
Alright, what do we got? I'm gonna have to clear these guys out first. Wow, two shops in the same level, that's pretty rare. I don't think I've seen that happen that often. Huh, I didn't even know that was possible. I think it's possible more on the, when you use the skulls and you have endless mode on, since the levels are longer. So this armor is pretty good for Ace. Not having knockback. That just makes it even easier to play risky. <laughs> like I do. I take lots of risks in this game. I don't know what's ahead of me because it's different every time. But I still do giant leaps of faith. And I think if you have this armor, even if you get hit, you can still reposition yourself since there's no hit stun. So I think... Uh, I'll definitely be taking that item pretty much every time I get it. I guess the only problem would be you would have to balance how much you damage boost through things because you're not going to make it if you damage boost through everything, but if you're in a crappy situation, you can just take one hit through it and jump through it. Which is pretty much like an actual Mega Man X game. You damage boost and you just run through things. So I think like a really good build would be like the plasma blender or this this the the glaive, like a double jump, and this armor that I've got. Armor torch shell. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Like that would be that would be pretty ideal if you had that. Pretty interesting. This patch has been really awesome. This is what this is the coolest thing that they've added in a while. The last couple updates have just been like supplemental updates, but this is like actually really changes the game. The only thing I don't like is that there's set bonuses for these, and the chances of you getting one in a normal run is like pretty much impossible unless you have really good luck. If you get tons of money and you complete every challenge room and a lot of shops spawn then it's possible but I still haven't seen it happen yet and I've done quite a few runs since they added this it feels like the the set bonus is something you're only gonna get like once in I don't know how many <laughs> full runs you do unless you do endless mode in which case you're gonna see every piece at some point if you keep going but I really like it I like how they they pretty much just rip the uh, Mega Man X8 neutral armor system verbatim <laughs> It's like the exact same thing. Mega Man X8, you had the uh, 
you didn't have an armor set in that game aside from the ultimate armor. You had the neutral armor, and you could find, I think there were two or three parts for each uh, s section, so your arms, your chest, and your legs. And the head, too. And you could mix and match them. Like in that game, you could actually make like a build for Mega Man. It was really cool. It's a shame that uh, they just stopped making Mega Man X games after that. Aside from Maverick Hunter X. I, I would have liked them to uh, see them expand on that. But now we've got it here, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I still haven't seen all the pieces, but I've seen most of them. Wow, I have 24 soul nuts. Huh. <laughs> no, it's pretty late. I think I'm gonna, uh, stop for now. I can't be on the mic too late. That was fun. I will definitely play this more on Wednesday in the afternoon after I do my DFO dailies and stuff. Well, the gun plays pretty good. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Well, I think uh, I will try that tomorrow. I was planning on doing zeros tonight, but I'm like a dollar short on my card, so I can't do it right now. <laughs> I'll have to wait. Wait until the 28th when my funds come in. Looks like a pretty cool game. The base price is kind of high, though. I don't think anywhere else is selling it, so I can't work any magic. But uh, I'm going to stop there. I think I'm going to go host my uh, friend 019. He's on right now. So you can head over there. Uh, tomorrow, I guess I'll try out Warframe. See you guys later. Let me check the leaderboards before I go. I think the daily is about to like expire in half an hour, so I'm not going to do it today. Oh, wow. Looks like a really easy daily. <laughs> If the first top 10 is full of clears, then you know it was a fun daily. So there were 17 people, or 16 people, that uh, cleared it today. Huh. Too bad I missed out on that. I was out most of the, most of the day. I felt pretty crappy today, so I didn't really want to do much video stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go find someone to host. I'll catch you guys later. Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't host someone playing Street Fighter since it's down. So, uh, stick around. Peace.